Cinema 5D at NAB 2017 is brought to you by b &H, the professional source for all your video needs. Manfrotto, imagine more. Blackmagic Design, amazing solutions for film, post-production and television. Kessler Crane, innovative tools for filmmakers. And Olympus OMD, revolutionary in every way. Hi, I'm Johnny from Cinema 5D and I'm here with Randy from Ari. Yes. And we know uh, the Sky Panel Lights from uh, a few months before, actually last year it was introduced. Mm -hmm. And now you have a new framework update yes. for those lights. Yes, 3.0. 3.0. Right, right. What can you do? Why is it so special? Well, it's special for a lot of reasons. It has a lot of stuff in it. Uh, now it has what we call source matching in it, which means that uh, if you're on location and there was a street light or a sodium powered light or is that kind of with a weird uh, color temperature in it, then you could just go to the source mode uh, in the light and then go down to you find the, whatever the light is that you're trying to match and then just push a button and the light will automatically match that source. So if it was Xeon or HMI or whatever, or if you went into the fluorescent mode, you know, what different kinds of fluorescence and stuff like that, or so discharge. So it's like a, mathem like a mathematic thing, uh, like to put the value of the light into memory here and then be able to call it whenever you need it. Yeah, you could, well, it's, it, you don't even have to do that. It's always there. Uh, on it, so it's etched yeah, but you have to tune software. into the into the type of light that you want to match. That's yes, what you mean. yes, yeah. Okay, right. So this is one uh, advantage. The other, right. uh, uh, it has uh, new effects uh, in it, uh, like fire or candle, and uh, club lights and police car lights and uh, lightning and uh, just different things like that. So Andy, before uh, we had this all being done uh, automatically, electronically. Yeah. What was the old way to do all well, those effects? Well, let's let's just talk about maybe the police car uh, on it. In the old days, what we used to do is that we'd put the people in the car and then we'd get two or three people around the car out of frame and they would shake the car and we would take a, a light with a red gel on it and maybe a blue gel and we'd put it on a stick and then we'd run it across the car where it came across the windshield and you could see it maybe on the people's faces and those kind of things. It was kind of corny uh, looking, but that's the way we did it. And then, you know, candles and stuff like that, we used to put them on what they call flicker machines, but you could never really get it. And then it's time consuming to have to set all that up uh, on it. And uh, so now all you have to do is say, well, you know, the source of the light is a fire. And so let's go to fire and let's shoot. And there you go, and it's done. It saves time and money on the set. and. You know, especially, you know, the, the quicker you can do something, the, the, the more money you're going to save while you're shooting. How about, um, I would say, pricing and availability? Does it cost anything to do the framework? No, it's best? all free. You just, uh, you can go to our website and download it, and then uh, you can download it to a memory stick, and then just put it in the back of the light and upload it, and it'll tell you just how to do it. Uh, Randy, thank you very much. You're welcome. And thank you very much for watching.